Ah, okay, everybody. Let's get into another record show and tell video. This one has somewhat of a theme, and that theme is Don Boyles and Dying of Cancer from the bands Vox Pop and 45 Grave. Here we go. So let's show some records that have nothing to do with what I just said. Um, this is a Red Fox album I picked up. It's called This Is Fox. And if you're hip to Red Fox, you'll know exactly what that sounds like. And if you're not, oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry that you're not hip to Red Fox. All right, here we go. This is a Richard Pryor record called Craps After Hours. And this one's okay. Not as good as some of his other ones, but definitely worth five bucks if you see it. Richard Pryor, Craps After Hours. Now let's put it back proper. Oh, and this record was recorded live at the Red Fox Club in fabulous Hollywood, California. Which Hollywood, California is where I will be in September. Because I'm going to see the Dickies at the Whiskey A Go Go. I've never been to the Whiskey A Go Go before. And I can afford to go. So I'm gonna. Alright, here we go. This Next little recent pickup of mine is DRI, Dirty Rotten Imbeciles, Four of a Kind. This thing is very, very thrashy and fast, but the songs aren't very memorable, but it's definitely worth a $20 bill. It's a crazy little Dirty Rotten Imbeciles record. All right, let's find a jacket for it. This one will do. It's on Beer City Records, and actually the songs aren't that bad. They're just not as good as some of the other stuff they've done. Um, um, <laughs> suit and the suit and the guy, yeah, suit and the guy and dead in a ditch. Um, all for nothing. Um, gone too long. Do the dream, shut up. Yeah, this this is a great record. Shouldn't be overlooked. But wow. DRI has made some masterpieces like um, Dealing With It, Crossover, and that Live at the Ritz. That was good. But this is good too. And it's on Metal Blade Records. Look at that. Metal Blade Records don't mess around. Actually, it, it's Metal Blade and Beer City Records that puts this thing out. And they do a great job at packaging up their record albums. DRI, four of a kind. Great thrash punk metal. All right. Now I'm gonna show you a mistake I made. But it's not a mistake. It's it's the band's fault and it's my fault. Although, you know, I, I, I didn't memorize the names of the songs. Here we go. This is The Spits. This is a record I picked up when I went and seen them recently and had them autograph it. And the songs on this are Tonight, Rip Up the Streets, Live in a Van, um, School's Out, Life of Crime. And here it is. This record has no title. Like all the Spitz records have no title. They just call their records the Spitz. So I was in um, UHF Records the other day and I saw this. Again, Spitz record, crazy cover, no title. Here was the back of it. Showed the songs. And I thought, well, that's a Spitz record I don't have, so I better pick it up. These songs are exactly the same as these. This is the same record. 
It's just on a different record label and the record, the vinyl's red instead of black. So I bought the same record. Isn't that terrible? So I paid like 25 bucks just for artwork. The record sounds, ex this, well, this record sounds exactly the same as the record I bought at the concert in Hamtramck, Michigan, which is actually Detroit, Michigan. But what can you do? Maybe I can pretend that I just had to have the same record, but with the, the creepy, creepy cover. All right, that's, that's my story of the Spitz mistake that I made. All right, let's get these records in here because we're about to get to what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. So there you go. If you see them, these are the same records. Enough about that. Oh, and by the way, that record's really good. Geez, I, I talked about that thing and never even discussed, or not discussed, but mentioned what it sounds like. It sounds really good. It's a great record. Here we go. I'm going to show you a record that is not great, and it's terrible. Here we go. And this goes into the theme of Don Boyle's um, Dying of Cancer. On this record, Dying of Cancer is the singer, but Don Boyle's is not the drummer. This one is called 45 Grave, Pick Your Poison. There's not one good song on this LP. Not, not one. I re-listened to it. I mean, I, <laughs> yeah, I re-listened to it. Sorry, I got a bit of a cold again. I re-listened to this thing. Man, it, it's not any good. Not one good song on it. It's on Frontier Records. Wow. <coughs> if you see the 45 grade, pick your poison. I'm just warning you. It's not anything like this wonderful masterpiece. 45 grave. This one does have Don Boyles on it. This is the Sleep in Safety LP. This one um, is from Enigma Records, 1983. It's the gatefold. If you see this 45 grave record, grab it and don't look back. It is creative, memorable, and rocking. It's got evil on it. It's got procession, um, a bad love, violent world, party time, evil. Wow. What a really, really great record. 45 Graves, Sleep in Safety. All right, on to more. Don Boyles and Dying of Cancer. This is 45 Grave Autopsy. And it's almost like a little 45 Grave compilation album. Greatest songs. I wouldn't say hits, because none of these songs were hits in the normal world. In the underground, they might have been. And this picture was taken at a famous house in Hollywood, at a famous swimming pool. And I can't remember um, who lived in the house. Uh, but uh, the guy that runs Dearly Departed, or used to run Dearly Departed tours in Hollywood, California. Um, he did a little video. Oh, by the way, that guy's from Detroit. <coughs> and he did a video where he was showing this old house and he filmed this spider swimming pool. He said that was really, really hard to get to. Anyway, enough about the cover. Uh, this is great. 
It's got all the great songs that 45 Grave did on it. It's got a lot of the songs from Sleep in Safety, but different versions. And it is on Restless Records. And here's what it will look like if you ever see it in the store. If you see that label, you've got the right one. There you go, another great 45 Grave album. All right, this next one is 45 Grave. With Don Boyles, Paul B. Cutler, Dinah Cancer, and Bruce Duff. And this is a three song maxi single, I guess, on Enigma Records, 1983. And it has La Tumba, Sleep in Safety, and Phantoms. So I think this was made to accompany this. And ah, get one of these for it. Is this any good? Well, let's put it this way. If you can find it at a good price, a price you're comfortable with, definitely pick it up. Um, if the price is too high and you have this, You're going to be okay without this. Yeah, that's how you describe it. All right, here we go. I need more little covers. This is 45 Grave Schools Out. Flipside party time, and there is more pictures from the spider pool. I should have looked up on the video of this um, location. And I could have told you, I don't know, I guess the movie star or some famous person lived there in Hollywood. Would have made this more interesting. Whatever. All right. On this, I guess you just call this a 12-inch 45 type thing. On this side of School's Out, Alice Cooper cover. And on this side, Party Time by 45 Grave. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there were two different, almost completely different recordings of the song Party Time. The original lyrics were kind of grim and gruesome. And they changed the lyrics for this thing. And they're not grim and gruesome. Now, which record has the grim and gruesome party time on it versus this one that I think um, this song is from Return of the Living Dead, a movie? This one. This one has the grim and gruesome party time lyrics. And I have a copy of Flipside Magazine that has an interview with 45 Grave and it has the little lyrics printed out and they're pretty rough. All right, on to more, 45 Grave. This is a bootleg, uh, Devil's Possessions, Demos and Live. What's that, 1980 to 1983. And here's what the little record looks like. Very see-through-ish. And there, let me tell you about this thing. Oh, here's the little piece of paper that comes with it. What this thing is, is mostly live stuff from the Los Angeles area. And one of the songs, is, well, I mean, one of the songs was recorded at the Satericon in fabulous Portland, Oregon. And the reason why you'd want to buy this thing you know, for me, um, is to get the Black Cross song, because I don't have the little Black Cross 7-inch by 45 grave. I don't know why, I just haven't bought it yet. Anyway, this thing has that Black Cross song on it. Also, um, the Black Cross song is on 
this, I think. So buying the little seven inch would kind of be like what I did with that Spitz record. Anyway, um, <laughs> this thing has got a song, um, which I guess was originally written by Wayne County or maybe done by Wayne County from New York. And it's called Bucked by the Devil. The 45 grade version of it is the superior version. And this thing has it. Now, there's a 45 grade live CD and cassette that has an even better version of it. But as far as vinyl goes, this is the superior because this is the only um, 45 grade record that I know of that has that Fucked by the Devil song on it. They need to release that 45 grade live on vinyl. That would be a wonderful thing. All right, let's move into Vox Pop. This is another band with Don Boyles and Dinah Cancer. And this is the Mystic record. Um, just, I think it's three songs on this thing. And it's called The Band, The Myth, and The Volume. And here's what the vinyl looks like. Mystic Records. And it's very strange. <coughs> Excuse me. Box Pop was nothing like 45 grade. Box Pop was a mess. Just this crazy mess from, you know, a lot of a lot of the dudes from Phoenix and some of the people from Los Angeles got together and created Box Pop and it's just a big noisy mess. All right, here's another Box Pop record. This one is called More Drugs Than Elvis. And this has Don Boyles, Paul Cutler, Dinah Cancer, Jeff Dahl, Del Hopkins, Mike Ocha. The Mike Ocha guy was in Nervous Gender. Um, Jeff Dahl was in The Angry Simones for a while as the singer. And this is kind of a live radio broadcast. And it's got Destruction Unit on it which is a song done by The Feeders, it's done by The Exterminators, and it's done by Vox Pop. Might have even been done by the, um, um, oh, I can't remember the name of that band from Phoenix that um, made the record All My Friends Are Dead. The Controllers? Yeah, I think it's The Controllers. Anyway, if you see this, it's very entertaining and fun. If you're not a real prude about talent, and if you're a real prude about talent, then Vox Pop is not for you. But if you just want to have fun listening to crazy noise, Vox Pop is something you should get into. All right, let's talk about this little 7-inch from Munster Records. And this thing has side A, cab driver, side B, just like your mom, and this is isn't a noisy mess. These are just two straightforward punk rock songs. I wouldn't want to be without it. It's a wonderful little rockin' seven inch you can listen to over and over again. All right, that's the video. Don Boyles, Dinah Cancer. Don Boyles from Phoenix, Dinah Cancer from the Los Angeles area. They came together and created some really horrible music that I just love. All right, I'll do another video soon. And Wednesday morning, I'm flying to Philadelphia to go see the Exploited and the Crow Mags in a church. Get ready to see footage from that. All right, goodbye.